Okay, so as part of my budget series where I'm on an extreme budget to move and I'm doing some budget meal videos and stuff like that, I wanted to start this video off by talking about what we're gonna make for, or rather showing you what we're gonna make for our Saturday night dinner. Because Saturday night usually, sometimes we'd go out for meals or we'd get a takeaway or something like that. But obviously we're trying to be strict with our budget. So we're actually gonna make the Rainbow Plant Lives tofu tikka masala. I've made it a bunch of times on this channel before and it's absolutely one of my favorites. So what I'm gonna do is press the tofu so that we can start the marinade and then this evening we will make the actual thing. So it's about 25 past 11, so it's not even lunchtime yet, but we're gonna get this ready so we can marinate it properly for dinner. I'm so excited. Finding a dish that you just really, really like and can kind of imitate the quality of a takeaway I think is so great because when you make it at home, obviously it's much cheaper and it's just a great way to have a really delicious meal whilst also being budget friendly. Okay, so we're gonna leave this tofu to press for about 20, 25 minutes and then we'll take it off and we'll put the other one on. It's great to do this when you're doing other stuff because then you can just put it on and then leave it and then come back to it later. I always find that when I'm actually going to press tofu just before I actually wanna use it, then I always seem to run out of time and then I never get to press it for as long as I want to. When we press it, it means that it gets rid of all that liquid so it could really take on the flavor of the marinade that we're gonna put on it. It makes such a big difference, especially if you really like crispy tofu. We're gonna marinate that for several hours, maybe even six hours. But for now, I'm actually gonna make something really simple. I'm just gonna have that flatbread with some hummus, falafel, and a salad for lunch. almost sweet. That's amazing. What does it taste like? It tastes like smoky, candied garlic. Anyway, I get this weird sweetness, but I like it. My mom really likes black garlic and she's the one that introduced me to it and it's just... I think it would make a really good base of like a sandwich if you put it on toast and then added some other stuff. But on its own, like it's so good. Weird snack, but like, love it. I'm more of a savory person, that's why. You'll notice that throughout this week, I will be eating some food that I have been growing myself. Growing my own food has been a way for me to try and connect more with where our food comes from, the resources that go into our food, but also just more understanding and appreciating seasonality and things like that. 
And this also extends to food waste. I've been really looking up loads of different ways to compost in an apartment, in a house. And also because when I do move to the US at the end of this year, I will not have access to all this outdoor space depending on where we live. So with that said, I just wanna say thank you to Lomi again for sponsoring today's video. And I just wanna talk about them a little bit now. So if you've been watching my channel, then you'll know that I've been decluttering again because I'm trying to minimize the things that I take with me when I move abroad. One thing that I am definitely going to be taking is my Lomi. And that's specifically because one, I love it. But two, I'm going to be living in an apartment. So I probably won't have a garden and I definitely won't have access to a full size compost bin at all. At my parents' house now, they have a bin outside that's not really designed for compost but it's what we used to use before we had the Lomi. And we also have a area for garden compost, but they've had lots of problems with rats and things like that. So that's why they had to get rid of the compost bin that they had originally. The Lomi has made it so much more convenient for them, especially because even though they do care about the environment and they do care about their food waste, giving them an option that has made it very convenient and easy has just ensured that they actually use it a lot more. You put all your food scraps, coffee grounds, and even your old pillowcase into Lomi. You push the button and Lomi works its magic to break down your waste. The dirt that Lomi makes can go into your indoor plants, your garden, or your green bin, depending on the mode that you select. But how does Lomi work? Well, Lomi speeds up the breakdown of organic matter into smaller fragments, similar to how earthworms break down and mix plant tissue into soil, except Lomi does this without the smell and mess. Fragmented waste provides more surface area for microbes to accelerate the composting process. The end result is a natural source of soil nutrients that increase the organic content of soil, helping to boost plant growth and soil enrichment. I have found the Lomi to be easy to use, there's no mess to clean up, there's no odour, it's all neutralised. It runs quietly and it fits in any kitchen size, which is going to be really important for me when I move abroad. It has a quick turnaround, you can break down your food in as little as four hours and it also can break down bioplastics. Okay, let's make dinner. If you would like to find out more about Lomi, then keep watching and also you could check out the description. Good morning, it is Sunday morning, as you can hear. <laughs> I'm not feeling very well. In fact, I've actually progressively got worse this week. I'm not quite sure why. So I haven't really eaten anything yet today. I've had a cup of coffee and that's it. But it's like 11, so I'm gonna have a, a light breakfast and then I have something planned for lunch, which I'm gonna make, but that's kind of, I just wanted to explain why I'm having a very small breakfast today and I really just don't feel like anything, but I know if I don't eat something, then I won't feel very good. Maybe a late lunch, maybe two or something. Hopefully I'll feel better by then so I can eat something properly, but yeah, let's go make some breakfast. <laughs> It is time for a cup of tea and a piece of toast. We're going sweet though. We're gonna have a piece of toast with some vegan butter and some jam. Oh. I think one thing you'll notice throughout this week is that 
piece of toast in the afternoon and a cup of tea is like heaven to me, heaven. Would you like a piece of toast as well? When we move in together, we're gonna buy a bread knife. I think that's the first thing <laughs> that we're gonna buy. Oh, I really don't feel very well. You gave me your illness. Um, because it's Sunday afternoon and I'm still feeling ill and um, he's been for a run, we're going to make brownies. We're going to make rainbow plant life's brownies because she's the best. For lunch, I'm pressing some more tofu because I'm going to try making a South Carolina style inspired barbecue sauce. So I'm pressing some tofu and I'm making the sauce. I'm using yellow mustard, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, my homemade hot sauce, some paprika, smoked paprika, white pepper and black pepper and soy sauce. I'm scoring the tofu to help it create more of a flavor inside as it bakes. And then I basically baked it until a lot of the sauce really smushed down and became sticky. I saved half of the sauce and put it in the fridge. And then I just served this with some rice and some salad from the garden and some mung bean sprouts and some broccoli sprouts. Or maybe these are red clover. I had half and then I intended to save the other half for my boyfriend, but then I ate it too. For dinner, I'm just having some frozen meal prepped food. It's just the red pepper pasta that I made in my budget video. And while I wait, I have a falafel. I put some nutritional yeast on top. This is not the most delicious meal after it's been frozen, but it did the job. So lunch today was some vegetables that I had in the fridge that I just really needed to eat and also some from the garden. So we're just chopping up a sweet potato, some British asparagus and some spring onions. I'm putting some oil, some balsamic vinegar and some salt and then I'm just going to cook them in the oven. While I'm doing that I'm going to de-stem the spring greens from the garden and I'm going to roll them up and chop them really thinly. I'm going to make this with couscous because again I want this to be relatively quick even though it's a little labour intensive. Couscous is super easy and for some protein we're going to be having some chickpeas. We're adding the chickpeas to a pan, adding the stems of the spring greens because we don't like to waste food and some garlic. Then we're adding the spring greens and that's that. Then we pretty much add everything to a bowl. The couscous, the spring greens with the chickpeas and the roasted vegetables. Of course I'm adding some sprouts, some mixed seeds, some sauerkraut and just some tahini because I just could not be bothered to make a tahini dressing and then some hummus and that's it.
This morning I truly could not be bothered to make any food. I'm still feeling a little bit ill. So I did the, the lazy thing and the probably unhealthy thing and uh, just had one of those brownies for breakfast. So. <laughs> but for lunch, I'm gonna try and be a bit better and I'm just gonna eat some leftovers that we have. Just We have some rice in the fridge that I need to eat. And I'm just gonna put some like vegetables and salad and stuff with it. Something really simple. For dinner on Wednesday evening, we had a takeaway from our local Chinese, which is all vegan. So we had crispy duck, which was obviously vegetarian vegan. We had tofu and other things. And I just wanted to show you this to show you that I'm not perfect in sustainability, especially when my emotions are pretty low. Okay, so today is actually Friday rather than Thursday because I went to my friend's funeral yesterday, so I didn't really want to film. <laughs> understandably so I'm picking it up today this morning I actually just had um, some leftover Chinese food for breakfast because one I was feeling really lazy and two I just wanted to so it is this afternoon now though and I'm a bit hungry after my lunch because my lunch was basically just a massive salad even though I had lots of good stuff in it so for lunch we're just having a similar thing to what I had the other day it's literally just lentils and lettuce and then we've got things like tahini dressing some radish sprouts and some broccoli sprouts then we've got some artichokes from a jar and some hummus that's honestly pretty much it oh and some radishes in there as well um but yeah i didn't film this because it's pretty much the same thing just putting lots of stuff together so i'm just gonna have basically another smoothie with like protein powder in it just because we went for a run earlier for our lunchtime run or just before lunch and it was actually quite long compared to what we're used to doing so I'm a bit hungry and I want to get some protein in my face and I can't be bothered to make anything proper and we don't really have any bread so I can't have toast which is all I want. Tomorrow is Saturday so tomorrow morning I think I might try and make some bread. Not sourdough. That's another story I will come back to another time. <laughs> so yeah just something really simple and also it's really hot today, it's like 20 degrees, so it is warm and just want something cold, you know? Actually one thing I have had a bit of a snack is some chocolate that comes literally wrapped in a cloth. But then it has a paper thing inside. It's by Hearth, I think. It's literally just organic cocoa beans, sesame seed and organic date sugar. I mean, if you like chocolate, like it's not sweet. It's like if you really like dark chocolate. But when you're desperate and you just want something to eat that's sweet, <laughs> you'll take anything you can get. Though it is so dark that I can only eat like maximum two squares at a time. I am honestly being bullied by a bird out here, so I'm gonna see if I can show you. I hear the bird, I hear the bird. So we got some treats from M&S to have that we're gonna have in this gardens. We're in the Arundel Castle Gardens right now. And 
yeah, trying to be a bit touristy in West Sussex just to see. But yeah, I'm interested to try out these food and just see if they're actually good or terrible. Oh, this isn't bad actually. I am just having some grapes right now as a snack and we're making some tea, it's the afternoon. We're gonna have some tea in the garden with probably a biscuit. And then we're gonna make a palak paneer for dinner. So it's kind of, a, you know, a full, what's that word? What's that phrase? A full circle moment. You know, we started the week with a rainbow plant life recipe and we are ending this video with that as well. Okay, so we're gonna start making Rainbow Plant Life's palak paneer, but obviously with tofu. And I'm also gonna remake those brownies that we had the other day. Um, and obviously you have raspberries in them. I'm very excited about that. So we're gonna start making that. I'll put the link for that recipe in the description below, because obviously it's not mine. You should definitely go and check out Misha's uh, website and YouTube channel. I just wanted to show you a realistic insight into the kinds of things that I eat and also to show you that I'm definitely not perfect when it comes to only eating food that comes unpackaged. Our moods change from day to day and when big emotional things happen or you're stressed, then you tend to eat slightly differently and things like trying to make sure that everything you eat is unpackaged definitely doesn't always happen. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a like and let me know if you wanna see another one.